Today I'm going to be doing a short video of a reaction that everybody's probably already seen before, but is still exciting to do, uh, and that's going to be putting sodium metal in water. Uh, so first I wanted to show you the sodium that I have in this large mason jar here. Uh, I have a pound of sodium that I've cut up into chunks and put in there. You can see that occasionally there's a little bit of a sparkle. Uh, that's from crystal regions that have appeared, especially on that piece there. You can see all the different uh, areas that are higher in ref reflectivity than the rest of it. Uh, that's because the surface of these sodium blocks has been etched by the water that's present in the mineral oil that they're in right now. So um, you get these nice, really beautiful uh, crystal regions that appear. Uh, and those are due to the, the cooling process. You, you basically get crystals in the liquid that appear and grow until they meet each other. Uh, and that's what causes these, these different um, sparkly regions. Uh, so that's my pound of sodium. From that, I've cut some pieces into more manageable size that I am not afraid to deal with, or at least less afraid to deal with. There's some bubbles coming off of these. It's because these are freshly cut pieces. I just put them in the mineral oil, so they're reacting with some of the residual water that's in there. So they're going to bubble for a little while. But you can see that these pieces are noticeably shinier than uh, the other pieces in my pound of sodium. Uh, and that's because, again, those are relatively freshly cut surfaces. So this is what I'm going to be using in uh, the reaction coming up. So let's get to it. So first I want to show you some properties of sodium, uh, one of which is how easy it is to cut. It's a really, really soft metal, uh, so you can very easily cut a piece out of it with a knife. So just with gentle pressure, it slides right through it. Uh, and now you can see the really shiny metallic surface is revealed, but that will very quickly tarnish in air um, to this more gray hydroxide coating. Okay, so now I'm going to take half of that little tiny piece that I cut off, which is this, uh, and drop it in some water just to show you how it reacts uh, on small scale. So what happens is sodium metal reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And you can see, oh, it catches fire sometimes. So that's, that's from, uh, what happened there was uh, the sodium, <laughs> still going a little bit, what happened there was the sodium, when it reacts with water, makes enough heat to uh, melt itself. So it reaches its melting point very quickly. And you saw that it caused it to ball up into a sphere because that's the shape that minimizes surface area. Um, so it did that and then also that, that heat is enough to sometimes ignite the hydrogen that's produced and that's what caused that little, little bit of a pop in the flame that happened there. Uh, and you also may have noticed the, the bright yellow color uh, of, a, of a sodium flame. It's very characteristic of a sodium flame. Um, so let's do that again, just in case you missed it the first time. Okay, here's a larger piece, about half a gram's worth of sodium. And we're going to toss it in that dish of water there and uh, see what happens. Another piece, roughly about the same size. Let's do it again. So this is actually pretty neat. Uh, as a result of this reaction, I produced sodium hydroxide, and uh, that's starting to react with the aluminum of the container here. Uh, so you can see that it's bubbling a little bit. 